All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the author, Andrew Snorton, and you're joining me for a later edition of the Fast 15. Typically, we do the Fast 15 weekly chat at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but today we got pulled away on a media project with um, Ace Norton CCS on Instagram. So what happened is through Ace Norton CCS on Instagram, we actually covered the minor league hockey game, the East Coast Hockey League, which is two levels below uh, the NHL. We covered that game today between Atlanta and Jacksonville. So we're going on live tonight. So we appreciate everybody, you know, being patient, making the adjustment. It will still take our typical 10 to 15 minutes to kind of pause and reboot. Uh, definitely want to give a shout to JUS underscore JANSU. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for joining uh, Kirsten. Elise Dunn, thank you so much. So make sure to check them out, ladies and gentlemen. So as we get into tonight's chat, the easiest way to stay connected with me, obviously on Instagram at Author Ace Norton, but when you click on the link in the bio for Author Ace Norton, it will take you to my link tree, which is L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E backslash Author Ace Norton. And from there on the link tree, you can check out the newsletter, which comes out twice a month, all the other social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Make sure to like, add, share, subscribe, all that type of stuff. The coffee collaboration with Fonte's Coffee with the author Andrew Snorton Blend. You can get that information as well, along with other interviews and things along those lines. So I appreciate everybody joining me tonight instead of the usual midday. But as we do this chat, we know that sometimes you can't wait till the next day to kind of pause and reboot or the next morning. So we're glad you're taking this time out with me to go ahead and do so. So before we get into our selection for the day, we always try to take time to acknowledge people who are doing well, but people who aren't doing well. So I like to start off with people who might be going through something. And all of us are going through something to some level. Uh, but there are some people who are really catching it right now, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, things with family, friends, loved ones, or lack thereof. And we know that there are folks who are really dealing with some some serious things. So if you are one of those people or you know someone who is, uh, you have every right to feel some type of way emotionally, but don't get so caught up in your emotions that it prevents you from getting the help that you need, whether it's formal or informal, as well as just kind of pausing and pivoting and seeing how do I need to move and operate differently and give yourself time to be able to do so. So if that's you or anybody out there, know that there are people who are pulling for you and there's probably more pulling for you than against you. Unfortunately, you hear the people against you a little bit more, but here's at least one person who's pulling for you. So if that's you, that's uh, the shout and acknowledgement. Uh, on the flip side, you know, there's people who are doing really well. Um, you know, some people learn how to cook something new or they learned how to do something for themselves or they made a trip or they had whatever breakthrough and accomplishment. And you have every right to celebrate those things because you know what you had to work through in order to get there. So celebrate responsibly. Feed off the positive energy and move on to the next thing. Let's not forget those who aren't doing as well. And, uh, you know, just like anything, it's about perspective and, and, and just seeing things for what they are and, and going in as positive a direction as possible. So that's the acknowledgments for the people who aren't doing so great and the people who are doing pretty well. And on that note, we're going to pause and pivot to our topic or our thought of the day or however you want to put it. Coming from, I know, what a surprise, quotes and notes. It's definitely a favorite book of mine, not only because I wrote it, but because it gives me some reminders of a couple of things. You know, original quotes to have you kind of pause, pump your brakes, think, reflect, reboot. All of us have to do it. I know I have to do it from time to time and what have you. Just kind of pause and shake things up and, and do something a little differently. So the quote that I'm going to use is something that... I had a little bit of a reminder of earlier today, and it's kind of it's serious, but it's kind of comedic. So here's the quote that I'm going to share with you from Quotes and Notes, and it reads as follows. Don't hold someone to a standard you are not willing to hold yourself to. Let me run that back one more time. Don't hold someone to a standard you are not willing to hold yourself to. And so part of it are expectations like people want people to operate at this level but they accept themselves operating at a lower level. And come on, you just can't do that. It doesn't mean everyone's going to do things exactly the way you're going to do it. But in principle, 
you know, like they say, treat people like you want to be treated or talk with people the way you want to be talked with or deal with people the way you want to be dealt with. And I had a little reminder of that earlier today when I happened to make a phone call on an item that I thought I had squared away a couple of weeks ago. And not only did the person act like they didn't know me, but then they were basically like, well, we have a schedule conflict. But the only reason I knew about your schedule conflicts because I called you, even though you knew days in advance. So we all, you know, quote, to varying degrees, do we need to expect ourselves out of other people? Not necessarily, but but is there some type of etiquette or decorum or expectation? Like if I'm holding you to a standard, then guess what? I have to hold myself to that same standard. Um, if I point out some things that, quote, you're not doing, guess what? I need to point those out as well and I need to be open to having those pointed out. So that's something that is universal and it allows us to kind of grow, kind of get better, kind of take inventory, you know, watching our tone, watching our choice of words, watching our actions. And I think all of us, you know, want to be respected and appreciated, but guess what? In order to get respect, you have to give respect. So that's kind of the quote of the day. Don't hold someone to a standard you are not willing to hold yourself to. That's one to learn and grow from. From quotes and notes, something is on the horizon. Yes, you can order it online. Also, check out bookstores in your area. And if it's not available nearby, you need to make sure to go ahead and ask for it. So a couple of quick things uh, before we get into wind down mode. Many, many thanks to everybody in Illinois. Lincoln, Illinois. I had a wonderful time for my author's talk this past Saturday. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the Lincoln Public Library uh, for just great staff and great people. And thank you to the Hunt for Foundation as serving as the moderator. We had a lot of fun. We went in depth and detail. It took a little minute, but we've kind of uploaded the full video. So we're going to chop up segments. So if you guys didn't catch it when the Hunt for Foundation streamed it live, you can check it out on my Facebook at author Andrew Snorton and check out the Hunt for Foundation. They have it on their Facebook video. So you definitely want to check them out. Shout outs to my friends in Chicago, Illinois at the Family Den. Hey, look, South Side's the best side. Nothing personal, but South Side's the best side. Love the venue. There's great people there. The Black Cheers, for lack of a better term. Shouts to Devo Entertainment. Shouts to a couple of members of the Zion Lambda chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated who pulled up. Uh, if you're in Chicago and miss me, do not make that mistake again. Shame on you. Shame. There's a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all. So have something for you next time I'm in the city. But definitely shouts to... Like I said, the good people I was able to meet in Lincoln, Illinois, as well as Chicago, Illinois. Always good getting up to um, the Midwest. So thankful and grateful, you know, to everybody who helped make that happen. As for the next time I'm going to be on the road, I got to figure that out, <laughs> to be honest with you. But once I do, I will definitely let you know. Hey, a couple other shouts. Shouts to my friends at Fonte's Coffee. They are celebrating seven years this month of being in business. They're amazing people. So if you're in Louisville, Kentucky, check out Fonte's Coffee. Great people doing great things. Those are my collaborative partners with the author Andrew Snorton Blend, which right now is a decaf, light roast, medium roast. We'll probably talk about bringing the bourbon infused uh, roast back. But um, yeah, make sure to check them out at Fonte'sCoffee.com. And then, of course, click on Special Collections and you can check me out. I'm trying to think of a couple other things. Yes, shouts again as we wore a press and media hat earlier today. So shouts to the Atlanta Gladiators. You know, start off the season strong, had some rough patches, but they're starting to put it together. So shouts to the team for an amazing shootout win by a four to three march. And they were actually down three to one in the third period. And if you know hockey, if you get three goals, you pretty much won the game. But they were down by two goals going into the third period. They tied it, went to overtime. It was still tied, went to a shootout, which if you haven't experienced a shootout experience or overtime experience in hockey, you definitely need to. And you can check out the details on Ace Norton CCS on Instagram. Uh, just trying to think what else is on the horizon. Um, I'm sure there's some other things I'm kind of forgetting right now, but I'm sure there's a couple other good things on the horizon that are taking place. Again, Black History Month is getting ready to close out, so hopefully you've been able to partake of any teaching, learning, embracing history. And yes, it, Black History takes place 
all day, every day, but the month of February is where we highlight it and get ready for March. March is Women's History Month, so we want to make sure that we're highlighting you know, those contributions as well, not only to our present day, but to our history. So shouts to those affinity groups, demographic groups, gender groups, what have you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, other than that, just thank everybody for their kindness, their support, their encouragement for every reader, book club, bookstore, book festival, special event, and more. I'm certainly grateful for you guys taking time to support me as February 2017 was the very first year that I, that's when I released my first book and now four books, five audio books. Um, I'm sure there's something in the works sometime this year, you know how us authors do, but uh, definitely thankful and grateful to everybody for, for taking time to reach out, touch base, all that type of thing. It means a lot and you guys mean a lot. So thank you for every like, share, repost, you know, kind-hearted message, uh, plug, you name it, definitely thankful and grateful. So as you get ready to wind down, uh, again, we are getting closer to the end of winter, getting closer to the beginning of spring. Um, definitely continue to make positive strides with whatever things you're working on. Uh, you know, just, just, just put one foot in front of the other. I mean, to keep it that simple, I mean, it's not that deep. Put one foot in front of the other, and it's going to get you a little bit closer to where you're trying to go. Definitely want to shout the people out who joined me live, as I kind of mix it up with pre-recording and live. So definitely J-U-S underscore J-A-N-S-U. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Kirsten Elise Dunn, thank you so much for joining as well. And make sure, y'all, when I shout these folks out, check them out, see what they're doing. They might be doing some cool things professionally, community-wise, and otherwise that you want to be a part of. And hey, just like you guys are supporting me, let's keep it going and help support others who are doing some good things. So as we get ready to wind down, if you subscribe to the newsletter, the next newsletter will probably come out either this Friday or this Saturday. Uh, so you definitely want to check it out. We don't try to spam or whatever, just twice a month, beginning of the month and the middle of the month. So that way you guys are on the up and up for different events that are taking place. Uh, again, the easiest way to stay connected with me on Instagram, author A. Snorton. And when you click on the link in the bio, it'll take you to my link tree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E backslash author A. Snorton. From there, you can navigate through, add all the other social media platforms, visit the website, subscribe to the newsletter, check out the newsletter, um, the information uh, with our collaboration with Fonte's Coffee, archival airings of the... Of the uh, conversation corner on the status network any interviews and more so we're just thankful and grateful and appreciative and hopefully this moment to kind of pause even though we did it a little bit later tonight still giving you a moment to kind of pause and reboot with the um, acknowledgments at the beginning the message from one of the books and you know just things along those lines so as we get ready to close out to each and every one of you continue well wishes encouragement all that and then some you know, whether small or big, a victory is a victory. Whether slow or swift, movement is movement. Keep it victorious and keep it moving. So I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Peace. See you later. Hope to see you next week. Probably at the regular time. Not this late. <laughs> but definitely at the regular time at 1 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. All right, y'all. Take care and I'll see you soon.